Morning. Goodness me, look at my hair. Morning. Zoe's on the egg hunt. What did you get, Zoe? Two. Two, oh, they're quite good ones. Right, mission for today. We're in a bit of a muddle around the farm, so we're gonna get everything in and just go through them. We've got a store sale tomorrow at Ashford that we've got 100 lambs booked in for, so I wanna get the 100 lambs together, ear tagged and sorted. There's a couple out here, those Suffolk's there running away that I want to get out of this lot and then there's a few coal ewes, there's a, there's a few scotchies and they're in with my tags and they're making my tags really wild so I'm going to just draft them off I'm going to get this lot in, sort them out then the coal ewes, some lambs slip back in with the coal ewes so we're going to get them in, just pull the lambs back out and then finally get the lambs in, get them sorted out I love a day like this, work on one farm yeah we're going we're gonna to sheep the sheep out of it today so then, shall we? First up, what we've got is a few tags. Few, uh, sorry, where are they? A few tags in here, the biggest sort of sheep. That one, absolutely enormous, stupid size. Lame you. Cheers, love. A Hebridean, that's lamb's not come off it. It's quite a nice lamb, actually. I quite like that cross we've done this year. Uh, a few lambs, and then there's a few, there's a few ewe lambs in here that I haven't shorn yet that I was planning to. But I just want to draft the tags away from the cull ewes and them away from the lambs as well, just to get a bit more organised. <laughs> then my lambs. These are some of the ewe lambs we're looking to hold. Basically the Sean ones, that one as well. But these sort of things. The Millennium Blue out of Texel Mills. All of those are. And that one. That's a good one. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll wait and see if that happens or not. Got a bit of a track record of holding them until about April and then they come to like 130 quid. I'm like, see ya. There are my tags. It can well go. That one is just absolutely enormous. See that sort of sheep is just way too big for us. We should have tapped that and it would have like slowed the growth down a little bit. So they're gonna go back out there. Coal use can stay here for a second. Them scotches, I do love them sheep. Alright, come on ladies. Not sure why the cows are out again. Lucky endings were not something, were not something for me. I drove around all across the land, thought that I was caught in a one man bay. But playing all the sad and lonely, sad and lonely songs. My faith was lost, my hope was gone. Silly, aren't you, my love? <laughs> that was annoying. So in this lot, we've got cull ewes, the ones with the purple dots on their heads. Anything with bad feet. And there's supposed to be no lambs in here. Lamb, 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 lamb. Lamb, 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 lamb. Load of lambs, that's why I've got them in. Just gonna pull the lambs back out of them. Also, all the lambs are gonna get drenched today. So we need them all together. So um, we were just trying to find out how much these pins are because uh, I might have lost one or two. Fifteen pounds plus fat for a pin. No thanks. We'll struggle on, I think, for a bit.
that's all the worst sheep on the farm. You see them now, so. I well, can go back out there. Next up, need to get the lambs in and then we can get them all together. Just have a little sort through, work out what we're gonna take. When you're selling store lambs, you're selling them to other farmers. So you wanna try and get things even and looking straight, really. I just wanna try and find a hundred lambs. Probably gonna sell them in three lots, maybe two. So two lots of 50 or a 50 and 225s or something. But just wanna get some fairly even lambs about so that they sell well. Oh, that guy. I don't know where he's been hiding. Guys, here's the plan. Gonna run him through the race. Anything small and funny bread. By funny bread, I mean that little black thing with horns. That little thing next to it. For any ewe lambs or ewes that are in here, gonna go in here. Everything else is gonna go straight on. And then we'll run them back round and then we'll just probably pull the biggest out of them and the smallest out of them again. And then everything in the middle. We're gonna send to Ashford tomorrow. Something like that. We'll see how we get on. So he's got some little ones, late born, had fly, 100 pound by May, telling ya. Uh, fit, <laughs> U lambs, few ewes, Zoe's project. Just basically all the good stuff and all the worst stuff. Just gonna drench them, bit the ewes off, go to the others, separate the lambs away. And then in here, we have all the lambs to go. Really frustratingly, there's some really good lambs in there that aren't a million miles away from finishing, so I might pull them off. We're gonna have a quick look for them. But yeah, plenty there to choose from. So we'll run them back round. Moxadex in a dicoxan bottle, because them big old five litre bottles absolutely kill my back. Is anyone gonna send me a free worming bag? Because it's really doable on them. Glove for, uh, I've got a really horrible cut. It's giving me major orf vibes, and one or two of them have got a touch of orf in them, so. Gloves up. I've only gone broke it, haven't I? my birthday and now you've broken it. Uh, yeah. Fab. I can't even watch that. <laughs> I'm about to give up on it. In a big way. It's gonna go flying in a minute. I can, I can see it happening. It's gonna go flying. I think there's one in the back of the truck. We don't pull her slowly for nothing. Now we're flying. Right, that's them. <laughs> right, that's them done. We're going to pull out the smaller ones and the bigger ones and then see what's in the middle. So I done that, I had to, in the end I've just pulled the smaller ones because it was just messing up my brain trying to do big and small at the same time. So I've just drawn the little ones and these are at my Hebrideans, they're just a bit long coated and they've got a touch of off as well so they just stick out although they make quite, some, quite a nice little pen on their own. And then a couple of ewe lambs, there's just some smaller ones again and then we're left with that and to be honest with you I'm probably going to go through them now and just pull the big ones out of them and this is what we've got left. Okay, so somehow we have exactly 100. Here they are. Let's 
So I'm just gonna be a bit over the top now. I'm gonna have them in three pens in the market. So I'm just gonna split them into those three pens just to check that nothing's like sticking out like a sore thumb, bringing the pen down sort of thing. I'm gonna put all the Muley types together, those Suffolks together, and then a pen of like Texley, Texley ones together. Just see how they look really. Sometimes you can have a couple of really good ones that sort of bring the others down, do you know what I mean? So a bit extra, but it's all about how you sell sheep. You only get one chance to sell them, so I'm gonna get it right. right. So I think we've got this about right. Apart from I don't like those two very much, but never mind. The Scotchies we've got perfect, apart from Rom Romney needs to come out of there. But we're struggling with these a little bit. They're a bit mixed. That wants to come out. That wants to go up to the next one. Hmm. See that they just look a bit. It'll probably have to come out of that one. That one probably go up. That wants to go up. That wants to come out. They are very mixed. Don't like it. Right, we got there. There's five fats. Gonna take them to Ashford on Tuesday. Got this pen here, like Texley types. We've got Suffolk's. There's a fairly even bunch there. And then we've got these guys, much more even and better. So I think we might need four pens, but we might have three at the market, but we'll just have to have that battle in the morning, I think. Now it's gonna ear tag them, so I don't have to do it in the morning. Ear tags, every lamb has to be ear tagged before it leaves. It's holding a berth. Big shout out to Shearwell. I rang them on Monday morning, organized as ever. And they were here Tuesday afternoon. So, legends. £20 pin down there. Eh? Right, well done. Let's show you guys at the market. Morning. It's Friday morning in the Mouton Supermarché. I think that's the, is that the land market? Yeah. Boss. Got all them. Just over 5,000 lambs pen today. Reasonably big sale. But I was in nice and early. Rained hard on them last night, but they look quite well. Look quite well stood up to everyone else's lambs as well, which is always nice. Gives you a little confidence boost. But yeah, we split them into four, so I'll show you. Eight seven half, 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 eight se
88 half, 88 half, 88 half, up top now sold at 9, 89 bid, 89 half, 89 half, 90 pound, 90 pound got, 90 pound got, 90 pound half, 90 half, 90 half, 90 half bid, 90 half one, 91 got, 91 bid, 91 bid, 91 bid, and done at 91, L191, and we go here, 82 bid, 82, 80 pound, 80 pound, 80 pound bid of shape there, 80 pound bid, 80 pound, 77 bid, 78 bid, 79 bid, 79 got, 79, 79, 79, 79, 79 got, 79 half, 79 half, 80 pound got, 80 pound half, 80 half bid, 81 bid, 81 half, 81 half bid, 81 half, 2, half, 3, 80, half, 4, 84 bid, 84, 84, 84, up top sold and done, last chance now at 84, 84, on we go, on we go, where are you going to be now, turn them around there, 84 again, 84 again, 80 pound there, 80 pound there, 80 pound away now, 80 pound, 80 pound, 80 pound, 80 pound bid, have a look at these, 80 pound bid, 80 pound, 80 pound, 80 pound, let them look, 80 pound bid, 80 pound there, 80 pound bid, 80 pound, 75 bid, by God, 75, 6, 7, 7, 7, 7, 8, 7, 9, 7, 9, half, 7, 9, half, 7, 9, half, you're out, sir, 80 pound bid, 80 pound got, 80 pound up top now, 80 pound, 80 pound, 80 pound, 80 pound bid, 80 pound got, up top being sold last time and on, last chance now at 80 pounds with the last.